Welcome to Bookable. In this video, we will show you the new simple step-by-step -step guide for installing Bookable into your Shopify website. If you are new to Shopify, you are probably using one of Shopify's popular free themes to get your online reservations started. The following method is for installing Bookable on any of these free themes to make receiving reservations that much easier. In your Shopify account, under the online store heading on the left hand side, you will see the free themes you can add to your store. For this, I have already installed the Dawn theme and created an example event rental website with images, pages, menus, and products, which you should do in your own time before completing the rest of this video tutorial. You can add the theme directly from this page, or you can click the Explore More Themes button to find more. To get started, I will want to click the dots next to the customize button of the theme and click duplicate to make a spare copy of this theme in case we need to start fresh. You can click the three dots next to the duplicate theme and also choose to rename it to keep track of which is which. To start the installation, Go to your bookable account to receive the installation code. This is located in settings, online reservations, the website integration section, and by clicking the JavaScript snippet button under the other websites. The Shopify heading on this page is just a link to our written guide for this installation. Once you copy the code, you can click back into your Shopify account and press the edit code option from the three dot button next to your theme. On the left hand side, as the page loads, you will see the theme liquid code where you will want to install Bookable. You are going to scroll down to where you can find the head end tag that is usually on line 239. You are going to directly paste the snippet before this tag. So on the line above and you're going to press save. You can close this tab and click back into Shopify and press the customize button on the theme. Now you will be able to see each page of your website has the bookable shopping cart installed, including your home page and the product collection pages. As you can see, this is a floating shopping cart, which will bring up the date picker, which we will of course change with an embedded date picker later on in this installation and you can browse through your pages. I've created a rental shop page with a preview of all my products, which you can also see the shopping cart appear. Now you will need to add your Shopify products. These are all the rental products you wish to have available for online reservations on your website. You can add a title, an image, and a product description, but make sure that you leave the price, the SKUs or barcode numbers, or any variations of the product blank, as you will want to enter these and manage them both in Bookable. You will also want to make sure with each of your Shopify products that you have the track quantity button turned off, as you don't want empty quantities appearing on your website. You will now need to connect your Bookable products through an embed code. In your inventory, click into a product and click the online store panel. This panel holds all of the display settings and embed codes for pasting products on a web builder like Shopify. Down the bottom, you will see the embed code options. As you have already set up your Shopify product, including its supporting text and images, all you are needing from Bookable is to paste the add to cart button. Select this option and copy the HTML code that will appear to your clipboard through the button on the left and go back into your Shopify product. Back in your Shopify account, click the matching product on the product section and click the show HTML button that will appear on the right hand side of the product description toolbar. You are going to want to paste your bookable code in here and click save. So on this page, on the top right hand side, you can click the preview button to see what this looks like in store. And you will see that now the bookable price, the bookable availability, the bookable variations, and the add to cart button of bookable have all been installed. So a customer can add to cart 
and reserve this item online anytime they like. This is now your first connected product. We will of course want to hide the Shopify prices and buttons that still appear on this page, but first pause this video and repeat this step for all of your remaining products. Back in your Theme Customizer tool, you can enter the name of one of your connected products into the page selector bar at the very top and click into the page. You can now review all the Shopify buttons you will now want to hide so your customer only sees and select bookable buttons. This will be price, quantity selector and the buy buttons. On the left hand side of the page, the product information section will have all these blocks which you can remove, such as price, where you can click the remove block button, the variant picker as bookable has its own, and of course the quantity selector and the buy buttons. Once we have saved this action and refresh the page, you will see that only bookables buttons have appeared. So now when customers go into your rental store and click into the product, they will be able to click the bookable variant. So for this case, it's color, have a look at the duration and the price and check the availability calendar for future availability of this product. They can of course click the add to cart button, change their quantity, and fulfill the order. Now we will want a rental date picker within the page so that customers can choose their rental durations, their pickup dates and times if you wish, and browse through locations if you have multiple. We suggest this to be on the home page, so click into the customizer tool of your theme, make sure the home page is selected. And you are going to want to add in a section into this page. Anytime we want to add code, we will want to search up custom liquid and add it as a new section. This will allow you to add the date picker code. We will have time to move this code around, um, select where we want to have it in the page. But first, we will want to visit our bookable account, click into the settings. Click into the online reservations website integration section and click that other websites JavaScript snippet button again. The first field that you will see is the code for the date picker, which we can copy. Go back into our Shopify account and in the new section, the custom liquid section that you have added into the page, we are going to paste the code in the code box. We can change some of the parameters, make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. We can change the color, of course, of this section. But basically now we have a fully functioning date picker into our page. So if we switch to the preview mode, you can see the customers will be able to bring up the pop-up and select their dates, their times. But of course, this isn't very well displayed. Uh, we want to maybe add in some text, for example, to direct customers to select this text box. So we will move the date picker in the page and add in a new section, which we can select as rich text. Here we can move this to be above the new date picker, which still appears as a custom liquid section. And we've got some headings and subtitles to work with here. We can get rid of that button. And we can replace this heading with a title such as choose your rental dates. This just makes a bit clearer user experience on your website and points customers into the right direction of selecting their dates before they see the products. Now, if we go back into preview mode, after changing the parameters of the te text box a little bit, again, you can change the color, move it around if you like. This is just obviously an example. The design is up to you. And back in preview mode, we now have this beautiful new heading above our date picker to direct our customers to choose their rental durations, choose their pickup dates and times if you wish. You can allow that as well. And the location selector as well.
Now in any page where your products appear listed, like my rental shop, the Shopify product filter bar may still appear, showing the incorrect values for your prices, for your availability, as well as your sorting. So these are all Shopify fields about the product that we will want to, of course, hide. So you can easily remove this in your theme customizer tool by having the page selected from the bar at the top. On the left hand side, you will want to click the product grid section here on the toolbar and scrolling down, we will want to click off enable filtering, press save and scrolling down further, we will want to click off the enable sorting function just underneath that one. This has cleared the product filtering bar from the page, thankfully, but we will still want to make the price tile displays uh, disappear as well. So you can click settings in your Shopify account. You can scroll down to store currency and open up change formatting. Both the HTML with currency and the HTML without currency fields can be edited with the codes that you see on the screen. So you can pause this video and make sure both fields appear as such with the span hidden codes. And now those price tiles in all of the pages of your Shopify account should have disappeared. So now the customer will only be able to see the bookable prices, the bookable variations, the add to cart button and complete their bookable order. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it has helped you open up the opportunity to receive many more bookings on your Shopify website for your rental business powered by Bookable.